To work along with our final lesson on speed effects, open the project 12D. There's a gap in the Annie interview. At 3519, we hear the voiceover. I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes. And but I'd like to try something other than the dance footage we've been using at 100% speed. I really like this short clip here. Ballroom dancing class. I could hit S three times for the speed tool and stretch it to cover the gap. Render and play back. I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes and then... It's not bad, but I see a couple of problems. Hit A to return to the selection tool, select it, and hit Command J. Turn frame blending off and add a curve to the start and end. Now render and play back. After work, I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes and then stay for the two hour social. It's much better, but she's talking about ballroom dancing and I'd like to try a full shot. A twirl would be ideal. Open the clip Annie Dancing Wide. I've already marked this clip with an in at 34701, where her back is to camera and an out when she's facing us at 3.49.04. Look at the duration in the viewer. Our action is 2 seconds 4 frames. Select the close-up we altered in the timeline and hit Command J. The clip now covering the gap is 4 seconds 13 frames. I want to fit the shorter clip into the longer gap, so I want to do a fit to fill edit. First, we need to mark the fill target. Place the playhead over the clip and hit X. This puts sequence in and out markers precisely over the section we want to fill. I want to keep the close-up as a backup and not overwrite it. So set the V1 source to track 2. We talked a lot about 3-point edits. Well, fit to fill edits are 4-point edits. We have to set an in and out in the sequence and an in and out on the source. And it doesn't matter that they're different durations. Just drag the clip from the viewer into the canvas overlay and drop it on Fit to Fill. Render and play back. Five nights a week after work, I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes. And then... As before, select the clip and hit Command J to refine the speed effect. Turn frame blending off and add a curve at the start and end. Render and play back. After work, I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes and then stay for the two-hour social. Let's try one more. Say I wanted to superimpose the names of some of the places she studied dance. I'd like to do it over a freeze frame. Option drag a copy of the close-up to the top track and scrub to about here. At 3618, where she's still looking at camera, hit B for the blade tool and cut. Hit A to return to the selection tool and go to Modify, Make Freeze Frame, or use the shortcut Shift N. This generates a freeze frame clip and loads it into the viewer. Freeze frames are two minutes of a single frame, with a default duration of 10 seconds. You can change this default in User Preferences, the Editing tab. Otherwise, you edit it just like any other clip, even adding filters, transitions, and motion effects. Week after work, I would go and take three hours of ballroom dancing classes, and then and we have a nice freeze frame to superimpose text. And if you'd like to reuse the freeze frame in other sequences in your project, you can drag it from the viewer into the browser. You can export a freeze frame for use in other applications by positioning the playhead on the desired frame and going to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. Under Format, select Still Image. Hit the Options button to select Ping, JPEG, 
or other graphics format required. That's it for motion and speed effects. Besides introducing you to a lot of new tools, it should have given you a solid understanding of how to work with keyframes, which will help you in the next chapter when you start working with video filters.